Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial about how to use Rust with the Godot game engine. What we're gonna do in this session is just move a basic sprite, so just an image, along the x-axis, but we are using now the Rust programming language to do so. I have already created a default empty project with Godot and now we just create a new folder within our Godot project. We call it script. And within the script, we will also create a new cargo.poml file where we're gonna use and define all our workspace subdirectory. So, first of all, we open it and then we type workspace and then we add the members. So the first component we're gonna try to create is an uncontrolled. That's why we just call it uncontrolled. In the next step, we need now to create the associated uncontrolled library. Therefore, we are using cargo, new as a comment, and then we just press or enter uncontrolled. And we also add with the two dashes the type of package we are gonna to create. So in that case, we create a library. Next, we change to our uncontrolled folder, which was just previously created through Cargo, and we add all the required dependencies for our tutorial. So in that case, we add the um, go.native um, dependency, and we also define the lib type of the crate. We can just copy directly from GitHub in the go.engine Rust bindings that particular snippet. So let's, let's do it directly to save some time. And in the next step, we will now actually build the project. Therefore, let's create another terminal session, move to our project. Then we change again to the scripts and then we invoke cargo build. And as this might take a while, we can meanwhile continue the development of our script directly until the build is completed. So therefore, let's open now the lib.rs file within the uncontrolled source folder. And now we will copy some basic methods and functions from the example um, folder within the Rust binding or Rust Godot binding repository. So therefore we are taking inspiration from the rotated cube example. So let's first copy and paste this particular um, code snippet. And we also created a new struct called uncontrolled. So you are free to call it however you like it. Just in that example, we use uncontrolled as the basic um, yeah, structure. Next, we copy the macro use and the external create go.native um, comments. So what this, uh, this is actually doing, it allows us to use all the required macros from the go.rust bindings and also we need to import the go.native um, create. Next, we need to extend our uncontrolled struct. And as we already know that we are using now a sprite, we just replace the mesh instance with sprite as shown here. Next, we copy uh, the implementation of our struct and rename it to uncontrolled. And here again, we need to rename the mesh instance to sprite. Then we just remove all the unnecessary properties and use our new struct here to in to create the instance of it. Next, we copy the ready method. And it is very important to have this export above the method, otherwise your script will not get invoked from the go.engine. We replace again the mesh instance with the sprite, remove all unnecessary code, And then we are adding another method called process, underscore process, which is again an unsafe 
uh, method declaration. So we are passing mutable self and then the mutable owner, which is again a go.native sprite. And this particular method also takes a third argument, which is the time or the delta. And this is of the type float. Ah, uh, sorry, float 64. Then we use also the export as well to expose it to our Godot project or to the Godot engine. Then we just put the Godot debugger message there to ensure that our method gets called. So this should be later on seen in our Godot editor under the output. And now we just try to update the position of the sprite we want to actually update. So that means first let's get the uh, position by using the owner and then get position method. And then we set a new X coordinate by increasing it all the time with 1.0 um, pixels. And then we set the new position by using the owner again with the method set position and pass the new position. Now we can change back actually to our other console and we try to build the project. Okay, just the last check. All seems to be fine. Cargo build. Great. The build was completed. We just get some, some basic um, warnings. We can even make the the owner here is not mutable. Okay, one more warning because we do not use the delta, but we keep it for now. Now we change to the Godot engine and drag and drop a new image into the scene of the node 2D. We call this uh, just uncontrolled. The naming here can be freely chosen, but now the important thing comes, we create a new script and in the script we first need ah yeah, first we need to change of course the the language because we are using not a godot script we are now using a godot native module so therefore under the first one we change to native script then we say the class name this is important it, this class name needs to match the exact struct you just defined in your rust code so uncontrolled then we create a new, now create a new library. And once you click on the library you just created, you are free to actually add the required um, or build it library from Rust. However, first let's save our scene. And now just add for your operating system the associated target um, library. So it's a dynamic library. So that's why we need to go under target, debug, and then there should be a dynamic library in. Otherwise, please make sure that you have cargo build invoked within your uh, Rust module. And then just select the scene when you hit the play button, and then you should see the sprite sheet, or the sprite actually moving along the X axis. So great, it worked. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free or leave a comment. Thank you.